Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Yeah. <laughs> Not in my yarn room. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, couch life sucks. Yeah. I've been pretty much on my couch for the better part of a week. Um, and yeah. So <clears throat> I think I overdid working a little bit. Getting in and out of the car is really hard for me. Uh, you're not supposed to, I'm not supposed to be twisting. And of course, when you're trying to get out of the car, you're twisting, right? So, yeah, my back didn't like it <laughs> at all. <laughs> and yeah, so this is, this is, this is where I've been for all this time. <clears throat> and, uh, but that's okay. I have, I have a puppy. You can't see her. She's like right in there. <laughs> and usually I have my cat. My cat's usually on my feet. And unless I have to go to get up to go to the bathroom, then I'm struggling with the cat, the dog, the quilt, the computer. I've got my computer right here. Uh, my yarn, my project. I'm surprised I haven't peed my pants, but <laughs> the struggles, right? <laughs> Time to get to pens. <laughs> oh, so some coffee. Pink. <laughs> ah. But um <clears throat> I've been when I first did this to my back, I wasn't able to crochet at all, which really sucked. Um, but now I'm starting to crochet again, and I've got a couple of projects. <laughs> I've actually got like four projects on the go. I finished one. I got commissioned to make a, a penis. Um, and so I finished that yesterday and she came and picked it up today. And then I was trying to make a summer thing like I did for the movie marquee challenge. Uh, <clears throat> but I used the wrong yarn. And now it's turning out to be more of a sweatery poncho. Like it's it's heavier. Oh, there's the cat. <coughs> so her cat goes eating. <coughs> Ow. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can get it here. <coughs> ah. So this is what it's looking like. Oops. You see that there you go it's kind of hard to see but there's bobbles in between the lattice so on so I'm doing like it's counted by fives right you count by fives so every fifth stitch is either a lattice or a bobble lattice bobble lattice bob all the way down so this is like the whole length, pretty much the whole length of my arms. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep doing this until it's probably down to my waist. And then I'm going to do an, ar an uh, what do you call it? Uh, maybe a half double crochet down the whole length. And I'm going to do a space for the neck. And then I'm going to do the other side. all in, Do it all in one piece. And uh, do just regular double crochets or something for the back. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. So that's that. Uh, oh, and I'm using Karen Latte. And... The color rose rose scented. <clears throat> I don't think you can get this anymore. I think this is old stock. And then I'm using whoa <laughs> went in my coffee. Whoops. <laughs> um this is Bernat Premium, I think. So yeah, I just did 
one row, well, two, two rows actually of each. <clears throat> and then the bobble row is the, um, the brunette premium. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It just, I'm not used to doing the Jacob's ladder with the thinner yarn. So it just feels like it's taking forever. But I'm using my beautiful um, hook that has the flowers in it. Isn't that pretty? Um, if you're interested, I'll leave the website down below for these. Um, I showed this before. You can see like the craftsman, oops, the craftsmanship of this hook is amazing. I just love it. Um, I don't usually like using a wood hook, but I'm really liking this hook because this one's is shorter. I'm not used to a short hook, but the the actual hook itself, the sorry, the lighting here is not so great. The actual hook itself is really sharp on the top, so it goes through. Um, your yarn like butter like it's great. I love it. They are this is the most believe it or not This is the most expensive hook. I have I Spent a lot of money on this hook Canadian shipping all that kind of stuff as well. It cost me Upwards of $160 for this hook insane I know I know I thought my furls hooks were expensive yeah this came all the way from the UK but it's handcrafted I mean it's absolute well so are furls but <clears throat> um, each one of these hooks is made right from hand from hand right right from hand by hand <laughs> uh, so they are all unique and beautiful and uh, I was really worried because I don't like using wood hooks. I just find that they stick and they but this has such a beautiful finish on it that it doesn't catch on your yarn at all, at all. So, but I'll leave the link down below just in case you're interested. <laughs> um, oops. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, okay, the next, the sweater that I'm making, I I wasn't going to make many sweaters um, after Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten, and called me out. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I really wanted to use this yarn, and I really wanted to try, hi Bella. <laughs> Oh no, this is this is our daily thing. <sighs> okay, find a spot. I'm I'm talking to the people. I love you too. <laughs> this is our daily thing. She fights me. She's like, no, I'm sitting here and that's all there is to it. And you're not gonna do a darn thing about it. It's like, oh, oh okay. That's hello. That's uh what happens when you got big boobs. It's like the cat likes to lay on them. Okay, lay down. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I really wanted to try this yarn. And uh, it's... Oh, uh, the stitch I'm using, um, Combat Crocheter. I've talked about him before. Uh, he He does really cool things with doing the waffle stitch. And I never in a million years thought to mix the waffle stitch with other stitches. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try this. And, okay, you know what, Bella, you're going to make this really difficult, aren't you? Yeah, she's like, yeah, this is my spot and that, that's all there is to it. <clears throat> okay. Ah. So... I hope this shows up because the lighting is not that great. Uh, which side is it? It's this side. Okay. So here it is. Um, I don't know if you can see this. But 
These are treble, treble crochets. And then this is the waffle stitch. I don't know. Can you see that? So it's just one waffle. Oh, there we go. It's just one waffle. Um, it, it You can totally see it in person, but it's kind of hard to see it. Uh, and it's kind of hard to do when it, you got a cat on you. <laughs> really? <clears throat> so anyways, I did this piece. And then I'm working right now on the second piece. Okay, Bella, please. Uh, I'm working on the second piece. And then I'm going to do the arms and whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't normally do a treble crochet because of the holes. But I thought, what the heck, I'm going to try it. Right? And so far, it's turning out not too bad. I just really wish you could see the... The waffle stitch. I should have done it in a lighter color, but these these two colors actually worked really well together. I never thought to put a purple with a burgundy, but why not, right? <clears throat> Oops. So the yarn I'm using for that. Oh, okay, Bella. Ah. Oh, I don't have the tag for it. Okay, yeah, you go over there. Ow. It's all tangled up here. Okay, well, anyways, this is Cascade, Cascadia yarn. Why don't I have... Hmm. <clears throat> I'll, I'll try and put a picture here. But it's Cascadia yarn. I think... Where did I get it from? Lovecraft, maybe? I'll get back to you on that. <clears throat> um, but it's such a pretty, such a pretty color, right? And then I got my hook and everything all messed up here. Um, this is the Craft Smart Value from Michaels. And this color is wine. So <clears throat> I figured that these two colors together look really good and they actually do so ow. when um when i uh am in the yarn room <laughs> i will show it to you better the lighting in there is much better than it is here even though i've got a massive window right in front of me for some reason it's just not going to show up very well <clears throat> so anyway um, I also wanted to send a huge heart to Dana from Wonderless Crochet. I think I mentioned it on my last video that Dana's pup was not well. He had an aggressive cancer and unfortunately she had to let him go uh, a few days ago and he is now over the Rainbow Bridge. And probably chasing balls and having a great old time and eat, eating as much as he wants. Um, so that was a very sad day. And it just happened to land on the National Dog Day. And which is, in my mind, I'm not, I don't want to look at it as a negative thing. I want to look at it as a positive thing. Positive. <laughs> positive thing that he, he passed on the National Dog Day. Uh, I think that that was a good day. Good day. Um, <clears throat> it's unfortunate. He was a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. And uh, I think I saw a post saying that she's going to be getting a necklace with his ashes in it, or a piece of jewelry with uh, his ashes in it. So I thought that was so sweet. Um, so Dana, I love you. I'm thinking about you. Um, Bailey's thinking about you. And, you know, it's going to be tough for a little while. But you'll get through it. You're, you're a tough lady. <clears throat> Your heart's going to hurt for quite a while, but you're going to be okay. Okay, so I love you. Mwah. Um, also, Carol Beck. 
um, her son, I'll leave her link down below for her channel as well. Her son was in a um, bad car accident. Oh my goodness. She showed the pictures of his vehicle and a Denali is a big vehicle. The whole front of his vehicle was gone. It was, oh, good Lord. It, it was awful. His legs were crushed. He's been in a hot, in the hospital for a month. Uh, she's been by his side the whole time. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, I just can't even imagine. So I'm sending out a big heart to Carol. Um, I hope that he has a speedy recovery uh, and that you can find some peace um, and get some rest. Get some rest. Uh, that was a month in the hospital is a long haul. So, yeah. Um, what else? Holy cow. I've been watching lots of videos. Um, <clears throat> but I have been binge watching Criminal Minds. <laughs> like binge watching. I've watched, I'm on the third season and I just started this like, at the beginning of the week <laughs> so i'm watching episode after episode after episode while i'm crocheting and uh i start right from the very beginning <laughs> i'm just enjoying it so much <laughs> i just love criminal minds um and i've been watching what else have i been watching um we finished watch watching the pam Pam and Tommy series. Ugh, why, why we did that, I don't know. <laughs> it's just... <clears throat> I just can't even believe they have that on Disney. That just absolutely shocks me. I'm going lower and lower in the chair, or in the couch here. Oh, sorry, I have to adjust. Oh, um, yeah, so that's like... A week of weeks time that I'll never get back. <laughs> that was ter terrible. But I refuse, excuse me, absolutely refuse, refuse to watch. Oh, now I got the hiccups. To watch the new Tiger King thing. I'm not going to do it. Uh -uh. I watched the very first Tiger King. Didn't watch the second one, and now they've got that freaking series with Carol Baskin. Oh, I, I can't do it. I just cannot do it. Um, the first one was enough. <laughs> I just, mm -mm, not doing it. Uh, what else? I've been eating a lot of takeout because I haven't been able to get up and, and uh, cook. That hasn't been good. <clears throat> so, but I did get out a little bit yesterday. Um, the chiropractor showed George and I this thing where you take a towel and you wrap it around your ankle and then a person pulls on the towel and it elongates your legs and you do each leg and then you have to do stretching and all this stuff. I'll tell you, I was in so much pain before and then when George did that oh it hurts doing it but it feels so much better afterwards because you're pulling the muscles and elongating your muscles and getting air in between your vertebrae and oh it just major difference I was actually up walking around I actually stupidly got into the car and went to Walmart and kind of walked around Walmart a little bit. I had to go and buy new stuffing <clears throat> for the amigurumi, not amigurumi, the penis <laughs> that I had to make. I thought I had some stuffing, but I guess I used it all on this amigurumi. I got stand sitting over here that's been staring at me that I just can't seem to finish. Um, <clears throat> so I had to go and get some stuffing. And while I did that, I went and got some more yarn that I thought that George could use on the machine. Hey, look, Sandy, I got, <laughs> I got the machine hooked up. So 
George, oh, that's what I can show you. Here I'm not supposed to be twisting, and that's all I do is twist. Oh, we did a practice run, and whoops, fluff. Did a practice run, and we used, oh, what is this? Oh, and I just dropped the needle. Uh, Red Heart Unforgettable. And this color is, drum roll please, Tealberry. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so we used that. I didn't put, like normally I put a different color brim on it. But we just wanted to see how this machine works. And, you know, see if we could remember how to do it. I had to watch a video again. So I didn't put like a, a different color brim on it. We just went right through. And so... We made this one. It's really loosey goosey and thin because of the type of yarn that it is. I mean, it's it's a pretty thin yarn, but it's so pretty. It's really pretty, and it's double layered, right? Like it's it's, it's doubled. So, <clears throat> but it turned out really nice really nice but it is very like very loosey it's not like a real sturdy hat but it is nice I don't know if I can put it on because I got my hair up here here let's see Eek. <laughs> Eek. nope <laughs> it's not gonna let me let's see if I can do it this way oh there we go so I got a little thing here, but you can see how it looks. Yeah, I really like it. It's nice and soft and it's squishy and it's like very stretchy, really stretchy. <clears throat> so I think it's really nice and light for like fall, not totally winter, but nice and fall. Um, so yeah, so that was our test run. And so George is going to come tonight oh, tonight, and uh, start making some more. Um, yeah, I, I got to get used to it again, get back into it because I can't remember. Like I put the waste yarn on and then we did the however many rows, 50, no, 150 rows or whatever it was. But um I got to remember how to do the two tone, the brim in one color and, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so I got to watch some videos. So anyway, okay guys, that's all I've got to say, I think. Um, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's all. I don't know. I probably have more to say. I just can't. I'm on painkillers and I can't really think straight <clears throat> so and it's not like I've got I can show you a whole bunch of stuff because I I've only got these two projects right here so anyway okay I love you thank you all for all the well wishes I really appreciate it it really helped me get through this knowing that you guys were out there and uh, loving on me a little bit Okay, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. bye.